right guys, in this short brief video I'll be showing you how to be sorting these error codes out here B0022, B0015 Obviously sometimes it can just be a bad connection in this uh, plug at the front of the seat um, so obviously usually if you unplug it which if we look to the side there there's a tab so if you push that tab away from you, there we go, just get the other end in there, and then pull it out, like so, and this plug will pull out. And sometimes the little connections in there have displayed open, so you need to um, close them up, um, plug it back in, see if it resets. If it doesn't, um, another telltale sign is the positioning of your seatbelt. So as you can see here, the seatbelt is two inches lower than that. Normally, these sit up here. Um, so obviously this car has had a slight front bump, so we've already replaced the um, front impact sensor, which I've shown in another video how to do it. Um, so we're going to go ahead now and replace the pretensioners on these seats. So slide the seat forward and you'll reveal um, T40 here. So you're going to need T40 and a ratchet. Um, but just bear in mind when you come to undo these that put a lot of force down and make sure the T40 bit is in there well because these can be tight and sometimes rounding off. So if it gets tight um, put it to tighten up again and just keep working it back and two. So you've got one this side and then one over there. So undo them and then the seat will lift out. Lovely. So now those, so now those bolts are out now. Uh, the seat will lift up, slide it back and as you'll see it just hooks underneath there, both sides. Um, so obviously, I'm showing you how to unplug that. That's just a case of lift the seat out and flip it upside down. So now we've got the seat out. Um, obviously, your pretensioner is here. And if you look, you can clearly see it's gone off and it's pulled down. So our wiring is in with all this. Obviously, lower spec cars, the only wire you're going to have is for the pretensioner. Um, you won't have no side airbags, um, so you'll just have a single wire which runs down here into this connection block here. So we're going to disconnect the cable ties. I'm going to show you how to remove the plug out of this box here. Right, so this is held in place with this metal bracket here, which goes under. So if you put that in there like that, screwdriver, pulls straight out. Nice and simple. So next we're gonna disconnect the plastics. There's a screwdriver in there. There's another one there. And another one there. So that reveals your blocks there. So snip that. Cable tie there, be careful not to snip any of the wires. So what we want is this green plug here. So what you want to do is one screwdriver in that side, and then another small flathead in that side, and then it should pop out then. But it's It will go. It's just playing up because it's camera shy. There's one. There we go. So as soon as you pop it, it will come straight out. So obviously now remove this cable tie here. And then got another one here.
another one there. All right, so now you want to pull this trunking off. Wherever it splits there. Yep, double skinned. One, two. All right. So now it's done. We're going to go ahead and remove this T50 bolt out of here. Now it has got thread lock on it, so it will be tight. Damn you, chair. Okay, there is one more cable tie just in here yep. so then withdraw it and now my problem being is the new pretension I've got hasn't got the seatbelt warning light um, I think that's what it's for Which is this blue one. So we're going to go ahead and try it anyway because who needs a seatbelt warning light anyway? So there you have it. Unpretensioned versus pretensioned one. So you can see that this has never gone off compared to this one. So I'm hoping that's not going to cause an issue and we shall find out so I'm going to fit this now in reverse order how I've just done and we'll see if the codes uh, disappear right so that's a pretension now reinstalled um, cables run through cable tied trunking back on um, so now it's just the case put in this green plug back into there now it can't go the wrong way because them tabs are offset so it only goes one way so you just and it goes and then that cover needs to go back on now so I'll put that back on and then it just slides in clips straight back in there right so that's the seat back in bolts all nice and tight obviously remember to slide it um, and lift the seat up, slide it into the front first, and then drop the bottom. So, last but least, this plug. This is for you. You scanning it? We need to get this plug back in. Sorry about the angle, guys. Doing this blind at the moment. If I pull the plug across. across it goes in and then pull that little red thing up that's done so I should see back and you now notice how high the pretension is so now we're gonna see if our codes clear right so quickly just before I do go um, I've just done the passenger seat um, so there's the codes there so we'll just delete it Fingers crossed, no more codes. There you have it. No more codes present. That's all gone. It's another job off the car. Right, 
off. There we go. 